Hi there. My name is John here, and I'm the author and illustrator of the books Field Trip to the Moon, and coming soon, Field Trip to the Ocean Deep. I'm super excited about this one. This is the story about a future class that takes a submarine bus deep, deep down to the nearly alien world of the ocean floor, where the sunlight doesn't penetrate and the water pressure is absolutely crushing, and life itself is pretty rare and very specialized. One of the students brings along a deep sea camera to photograph the strange sights. The student ends up seeing something mysterious that they want to check out. But the student doesn't tell their teacher or their classmates when they go to investigate. Now I don't want to give away too much, but let's just say their field trip begins to fall apart. Will the student encounter strange new creatures? Will they become friends? Will the student find a way to be rescued? We both know the answer is probably yes, but how it happens is pretty cool, and I really hope you check it out. Now you might ask yourself, how does one write a wordless picture book? My preferred way is to make a storyboard of really rough sketches. We're talking scribbles that I don't even think other people can understand but they're like a great shorthand to myself. Once I have the basic idea down, I'll go back and make a more detailed storyboard. This is the part where I typically address any glaring plot holes and logic problems. If, after all that, I still like the idea, I'll do some character studies to figure out what I want the people, the creatures, the vehicles, and the landscapes to look like in this world. Next, I'll make a mock-up of a book called a dummy. Personally, this is my favorite part. I do this by making composition sketches that reflect how I imagine the final art will look. And I'll take those sketches and put them together as a book so I can see how the layout and the page turn affect the story. I also like to spread out the dummy like yet another storyboard so I can really focus on pacing. Once I get all this stuff figured out and maybe I've even been through it all a few times, and if my editor is down with it all, it's time for the final art which is both daunting and a lot of fun. So I thought I'd share a story about how I painted myself in a corner with character design when I was coming up with Field Trip to the Ocean Deep. Now, I'm a big fan of science, and I have some scientific sacred cows that are hard for me to let go of even when making a whimsical book like Deep. While designing the characters, I was totally hung up on the fact that there is no diving suit in existence or on a drawing board that can withstand the absolutely crushing pressure at the bottom of the ocean. So my solution was to put the students in their own personal submersibles. They were basically egg-shaped pods with little robotic arms. And I imagine the kids would be inside with a couple joysticks that they would use to control those robotic arms. It would have looked pretty cool too, because these mini submersibles would be docked to the submarine bus, so that whenever the submarine bus got to its location, the mini subs would be released and they just fly out and swim around. In my head, it was going to be very cool visually. But if you've read Field Trip to the Moon, you know in that book I never showed faces and I completely relied on body language to show expression and emotion. Well, the plan with Deep was to hide the faces as well. But by putting the class in these personal submersibles, I didn't have a face or a body to show expression and emotion. I had an egg with arms. So I decided to abandon the personal submersibles and put the kids in deep sea diving suits. I imagined the suits were made of some future material that could withstand all the pressure, but I wanted them to feel reminiscent of old time deep sea diving suits that were bulky and heavy and made to walk on the bottom of the ocean at less extreme depths. And while I missed the personal submersibles and their ability to swim around, these new bottom dwelling suits created some new opportunities that were fun to exploit. Well, this has been a lot of fun and I can't thank you all enough for taking the time to watch this video. And don't forget, coming out in September, field trip to the ocean deep. Anyways, I really hope for the chance to meet you all in person in the future. In the meantime, stay healthy and take care of each other.